Previously on Ghost Trick, Phantom Detective. God, it feels so good to be evil. All right, see you bitches later. <laughs> we. And now back to being dead. I feel so close to the end here. 5, 10 a.m., oh my God. Dusk is just around. Or da dawn, I mean. The upended submarine continues to sink, slowly but surely, a long, long journey to the bottom of the sea. The lady found the darkness and the salt water closing in on them, but at the very last second, something saved them. Now it looks down at them quietly. What in the world? My head is filled with one giant question. What in the world is this thing? Hey, <laughs> look, it's a funny talking claw. Holy balls! Is this supposed to be Ray or something? Whoa. Whoa! Oh! Is I, Evil Sissel! Tassel, I guess. I see you managed to survive, Detective. Hey, you! Sup, bitch? Excuse, excuse my appearance, I seem to have lost my body. But at least I still got my cool badass sunglasses. <laughs> Man, I look so... Look at me, I look so swank. <laughs> and I got a big claw arm. Oh, and you there! You're the ghost who's been saving Lynn all evening, aren't you? <laughs> You're damn right it is. You knew about me all along. Of course, what, what else would explain all those unnatural shit things happening? <laughs> if you knew, how come you didn't do anything about, about it all this time? How come you decided to save us all of a sudden? I thought you wanted to get revenge on us. <laughs> ah, yeah. What can I say? I'm kind of fickle. I don't really know. Please, you gotta tell me. I need to know. Oh shit, I turned into a little ghost now. Who in the world are you? <laughs> and who the fuck am I? Sissel, look at you, what happened? I can't hold on to that image of myself any longer. Can't remember who you are. That's right. Came all this way, way tonight trying to chase down my fucking lost memory, the piece of shit. For quite a, long, for quite a bit tonight, I thought, I thought I was you, Sissel. Sissel? <laughs> Sissel, my name is Sissel. What the hell are you talking about? Uh oh, wait, why? So, yeah, that's what the what Joun said that, that wasn't really Sissel. Um, I don't understand why uh, the guy with the bushy eyebrows was calling him Sissel. Then. I'll bet you remember, I bet you'll remember really soon who you are and who I am, too. Oh, come on, you already fucking know, don't you? You can just tell me right now. No, you're gonna drag this shit out. <laughs> what? <laughs> the man in front of me is not me. Being further away from the truth, or maybe not. Something is stirring my mind, a memory about to emerge. Do I know this man? Now that I've shed my image of myself, I feel like I'm one step closer to the truth. <gasps> Come on, tell me. Ah, I'm gonna pop a squat here. I know we're all about to sink and die here, but you know. <laughs> Rest my gears. Guy's good, it's all over this submarine. The engine's room is destroyed, there's a hole in the hull, and it's sinking as we speak. We all gonna die. <laughs> what are you doing here? I thought you had to deal with those people. They betrayed me. I was a fool, trust them. Damn them. Damn that bushy man. They, all, they already have what they want now. The Temzik fragment. I didn't know they had it all figured out. You mean they figured out the source of your powers? Yeah, that meteorized radiation has two effects on living creatures. It gives power and time. If you don't mind, we'd like to hear more. <laughs> Tell us what the fuck's been going on! These ten years, I've been watching that junkyard superintendent do his research. I think I've kind of, kind of got it, some, some of it figured out. So his is blue when it when he enters this uh, ghost mode, I guess, the ghost world. And missile's green and I'm red. <laughs> Meteorized radiation gives Spear a special powers. Like possessing and manipulating objects. Hey, my kids, swapping objects! Whoa, where the fuck did you come from? <laughs> I didn't know you had another ghost friend. Oh, look at him, you little cutie. <laughs> oh, I know you. I'm so adorable. You can't help but love me, even if you're evil. Exactly. Apparently, there are individual differences in the powers we get. It seems these, these powers change as time goes by. They do? Yeah, my powers have, have changed over these past 10 years. Oh. 
At first, I can only manipulate small living creatures. Oh. Now then, how do, how do you suppose we got these powers? And also, why the hell am I still here? Aren't I supposed to fade at dawn? Was that a, was that a lie then, maybe? Am I still gonna be here then? Gonna be a badass ghost? It's simple. It is how then? In a nutshell, we die while exposed to the energy emitted by the meteorite. It's radiation. Ah, uh, we knew that. That's what... That's what... Does it dying while being exposed to the radiation? On that day ten years ago, I got stabbed in the back with a fucking meteor. It hurt like hell. Ow! <laughs> Good news, I got badass superpowers, but... A fragment of that meteorite pierced my heart and I died. So, of course, I received special powers. Hey, wait a minute! Is that how I got my powers, too? You? you know, you might be right. Lou, 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 Lou. Whoopsie doodle. Ah! <laughs> you fucking dick! Ow! Arthur Tim's rem remnants still right there in that park at the bottom of the crater. Holy shit, we've all been irradiated! <laughs> Everyone who goes to that park gets irradiated. You're right. So that must mean. I must have died in the presence of the meteorized radiation, too. Oh, we were right next to his body, you know? I'm assuming. I mean, we were, our ghost was there, right? So, I mean. I mean, unless we somehow transport ourselves over there. Another effect the media's meteorized radiation has on us is that it gives us time. Again, I think this time is centered around the theme of death, but it's not all that clean. It's the fact that I can return to four minutes before a person's death. Is another effect of that meteorite? One of the characteristics of the meteorite is the ability to replay the moment of death. Replay the moment of death? Oh, this is so, so strange and confusing. I can't take it all in. Oh, come on, Lynn. We've done it five times with you already. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you've already you already figured out this shit out. Yeah, you know, it's all s supernatural and shit. You know, time travel and freaking claw powers and ah, shit like that. It makes my much sense to me, Sandy Gilch. <laughs> yeah, strange and confusing. That just about sums up the object that pierced my body that day. Thanks to that meteorite fragment, my very existence is a contradiction. What do you mean? That day, when the fragment pierced my heart, I lost my life. However, because the ring inside of me, that fragment continued to re constantly regenerate my body. In other words, my body was continuously cycling between the moments that separated my life and death. Oh, what? <laughs> Holy crap! My body's vital, vital, vital function stopped ten years ago. My body's time has perpetually stopped at the moment just before death. Time just stopped, huh? <laughs> I know, right? Isn't that badass? <laughs> So I just simp so I just simply existed, not really alive and not really dead. That pretty much sums up these last ten years for me. Ever since that incident in the park, my body hasn't aged a day. My hair hasn't grown an inch. Come to think of it, that old pigeon guy mentioned something. He said he couldn't cut this guy's body with the scalpel. So I guess as soon as the incision was made, his body would be regenerated. Wow. Okay, so we've kind of sort of known this. I mean, the specifics of that his body was frozen in time before death, not quite at that, but so far we. They haven't revealed anything to us that I guess we didn't really, hadn't really probably figured out by this point. Before I left this country, I wanted to do one thing. I wanted to get revenge on the people who stole our lives. Our lives? It's part of the deal I made those guys promise to cooperate. Cooperate? You mean the kidnapping? Wait, what? He said R, R and then he didn't even answer it. It all went fine. I manipulated the Justice Minister and made him issue the execution order. But I thought he might call off the execution at the last second. So that's why you want his daughter kidnapped? But they kidnapped the wrong girl. Little did I know, they had their own, their own reason for cooperating with me. Huh? The objective was to wipe out everyone who had to do with Timzik. Oh. Say what? Oh, so no one will know about it? Like their secret weapon? Detective Jow was one such person, so they were, so they were happy to cooperate. Mr. Cabanella and the Junkyard Super. They were slayed to be wiped out too. And as it turns out, I'm, I live again. <laughs> oh shit, baby. <laughs> I was one of their targets as well. Although how the hell they're gonna kill me when I'm already dead, I'm not really sure about that. 
Yeah, seriously, how are they gonna kill him? I mean, so they stole my Timzik fragment, and here I am. Uh, well, I mean, hell, he's talking to us, right? Well, I guess maybe he's using his ghostly powers to talk to us or something. I, I don't know, I mean, can't really get rid of us that easily, though. But they had one more final talk. You detect it. <laughs> you! <laughs> Me! <laughs> yeah, because you're so annoying. Nobody likes you. <laughs> if you weren't there in the park that day 10 years ago, I never would have thought of doing something as stupid as taking a hostage. Oh, okay. But I was just a little kid playing in the park. I know. You little shit. Think you play around. Think it's a game. Think life's a game. I'll show you. Yeah, I know. Huh? Ten years later, you and you become a detective looking into Jazz's case. Tonight, I invite you to a quiet spot on the edge of town. It was a trap, see? Okay, here we go. Hey, what's up? Hey, baby. You wanna go out sometime? Fuck no! I, I don't go out with Johnny Bravo lookalikes. I told you who I was. You never saw my face that day ten years ago. So, of course, you didn't recognize me. I'm wearing the same freaking clothes. Damn, I gotta take a bath. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, he hops over, yep, and controls her. I took position of to you to make you shoot me. I don't know how I managed to get my body to stand up right like that. <laughs> Thought what I do just kind of collapse to the ground, but I have, my, I have myself very perfectly balanced thing. Your subconscious resisted me. Such incredible power. <laughs> it's the first time I was able to control somebody completely. <laughs> yes, that's right, because I'm totally badass. <laughs> Shut up. No, you're not. Go, balls. The aim was off in the first shot I missed the mop. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I'm dead. Junk all was equipped with security cameras, and I knew you, you'd be one for murder. That was my plan, anyway. <laughs> hey, look, it's me again. <laughs> I'm alive! But they had other ideas. They simply wanted you wiped out. But then, something threw a big monkey wrench in they, into this scheme. Monkey wrench! Me! <laughs> With my ghost powers, I showed up. I see, okay. I was supposed to meet up with it, them after that, but then something went wrong. What happened? My body disappeared. Ah, uh, Spectre and White was responsible for that one. My precious bargaining chip was in that body, and I had to get it back no matter what. That Spectre caused me no end of trouble. Why were those people targeting me? I never even heard of the Temsic meteorite. I mean, come on, dude! Because you were looking into the Jab case. Thought you would find out find out about Timzik sooner or later. Whoa. Okay, so we learned a little bit. I mean. So yeah, he did actually end up manipulating her to do that, but. Okay, starting to see clearly now. Still don't know who Sissel is, though. And that's pretty much the whole story. The only thing left to do now is wait for the water pressure to crush the submarine and kill us all. Well, kill you. I'm already dead. But... Oh, fuck me! There are no cores that link from the here to the water surface. I have an idea. We hook up to the phone line and... There are no communication cables down this deep. I meant for the submarine to be the coffin. See my coffin. A coffin for the dead. There's no escape. We all gonna die, bitches. Game over, man. Game over. Well, I think I kind of understand now. What have you been feeling these ten years? <laughs> you what? <laughs> you what? This feeling cut off from the world, all alone in a submarine sinking slowly toward the bottom of an endless sea. That must be how you felt all along. Well, at least I got badass superpowers in the process. Now I got a big crane on. I can poke a lot of people with this thing. Lit? Camilla, is it true? We're stuck here? What? Uh, oh, um, no, it's fine. We're in, uh, we're just playing, uh, Monopoly. You want to join us? Uh, huh. <laughs> I got. <laughs> I just passed Boardwalk! 
Oh, fuck me. I, li I suck at lying. My dad? My dad was here. I bet he'd save us. <laughs> uh, unlike you, Lynn, you suck. <laughs> oh, Camille, I'm so sorry. We're all... Whatever, it's not the first time I died today. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. What is it, Sissel? Something I don't understand. Why would they go... Oh, I was hoping they explain why they called him Sissel. You never, never, you didn't explain that yet. Why would they go to all the trouble of detaching the control room? What? They didn't just steal the Timzik fragment and escape if that's... Wait, why didn't they just steal the Timzik fragment and escape if that's what they wanted? Why did they have to jettison your body off into the sea? Hmm, that's a good question. But I guess I don't, it doesn't matter, right? Why now? We'll never, we'll never find it again. We have no idea where it was launched to. Wait a just a fruity second. Yes, we do. What? <gasps> oh, this. Oh, she has the 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 thing that the watch. This is this will tell us where Chow is. Present from the inspector. What? Oh my God. That's right, Detective Chow told me to hold on to it for him. <laughs> and I just fucking forgot about it until now. I got it and dropped this in the ocean. The bullet's still in this person's body in the command room, right? We should be able to tell exactly where it is with this. <laughs> God, hope it's not on the moon. That's going to be a little bit, a bit, little bit of an issue. But if we find out where they are, how we get there? We should be able to figure something out between the three of us. We are both run, Miss Lynn. I still don't really understand what the other... The other guy seems to have the power to control everything. <laughs> he's just gotten powerful enough where he can just do whatever the hell he wants. Right! Oh, wait a minute. What about a torpedo? Torpedo? In any case, it's way too, way too early to give up. Uh, oh. Launcher still's out with a torpedo? It looks like a ticket of Jad is our last hope. Come on, let's get started. All right, let's do this shit. Can I switch between... Uh, I was hoping I could switch over to him. I want, I want ultimate superpowers. Oh, yes, there you go. Oh, look, yes, that's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize I was in this room. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, Torpedo room, engine room, okay. Let's go to the tor torpedo room, huh? Might be another torpedo left, I'll go check it out. Oh, okay, you're gonna use the miss the miss of the to ram the control room. I don't know about ram, but I don't want to blow Detective Jad up. Uh, something like that. Climb to the torpedo room two. Up is definitely safer. Okay, I'll see you there then. Wee. Am I the one doing this? Hey, super powered me. Can't you do? Can't you like? I don't know. Lift the whole sub up or something? Oh yeah, you're right. I I, I forgot. I'm like a freaking god. Woo. <laughs> and then the sub just like levitates out of the water. <laughs> now to destroy the world with my giant floating submarine. <laughs> Uh, Looks like the torpedoes can be launched manually with these switches. There are two tubes, so there should be one left. One more left. I guess the first thing we have to do is load it into the tube. Where it comes, you missiles! You get me! <laughs> Out to the corners of the command room to the torpedo. Is it still in the water then, I guess? I mean, I'm not, I mean if I launch the torpedo, I mean, is it going to go flying through the air? I... I, I I guess it must still be in the water. I just turned on, turned on the backup power. We want to be able to use the switches now. Okay, let's try it. Good luck. All right. Oh, talk to him. Oh, I'm these two ladies. Yeah, it's up to us and our powers. What? 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 It's the time to be staying around, unsure of ourselves. We lend me your strength, missile. Hey, of course I will. Oh, there we go. Okay. Switch. Lower. There we go. There we go. The torpedo looks serviceable. I'll start on this end, too. Something's odd. What is it? The command room looks like it's slowly sinking. Sinking? Yeah, like it's completely run out of power. wonder what happened. <laughs> oh, Buzz, if... Damn it! Do you forget to charge the batteries? I'm sorry, sir, but we spent all of our power in making spent all the power in making that giant that giant crane that gives you grapes and also flips the flips the table over and anally probes you. 
damn it, man. I didn't even want any of this shit. You people suck at this. <laughs> Stupid chandelier. Stupid bullshit. I don't know, but I guess I'll find out. All right. Oh, okay, hop into the missile. I'll watch it for you. Okay, thanks. I'm going to the moon. Missile, you gonna hop on with me? Before I set the torpedoes course, it's gonna head, head to the command room where Detective Jout is. 12 seconds after launching, you'll pass by the command room for an instant. As it will be your window for an opportunity to jump over the command room. Okay, got it. Okay, so I guess they are still underwater. We'll find a way to come back and save you. That'll probably be my last task tonight. Just hold on until we get back. Is he on here? Uh, yeah. Okay, come on, missile. Come on, missile. Missile. I, I'm sorry, I can't go. <laughs> what? I just can't help her leave. I can't leave Miss Lady, Miss Camelbot. I can't do it. Ah, uh, missile. Damn it. I swapped the switches so the missile should be launched. You have to do the right, missile. <laughs> I can't do it either. Can't ask the missile to come with me after that. Understand exactly how I understand exactly how he feels. Okay, how about the superpower? How about evil? How about evil, sister? I, didn't, I just realized he didn't even tell us what his real name was. I want you to go, missile. What? But, but Miss Lynn! If you're staying here, won't change our fate. But if you go with Sissel, you might be able to make something happen. That's our only hope. But what if something doesn't happen? Oh no, we'll see you again. Never again. <laughs> I'm not gonna understand that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand that. <laughs> Don't worry, Missile. <laughs> Miss Camille. <laughs> I just know you and Sissel can make something happen. I believe in you. I'll be right here waiting for you. We'll see each other then. Don't worry. Oh my god. <laughs> Miss Camille. <laughs> That's a good boy, Missile. Alright. <laughs> I'll see you all soon! She'll be in the big barrel thing! Now, are you ready? Remember, it's 12 seconds after I throw the switch. Ready. She's about to get bananas. Alright, here we go! Sissel? Yeah? <laughs> we never found out who you really were. But that doesn't matter now. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? It totally matters! All I know is I'm truly glad I met you tonight. <laughs> I... Sadly, the feeling's not mutual. <laughs> Thank you for everything. And I'm glad I didn't meet you. I mean, <laughs> I wish I hadn't met you. <laughs> We're gonna see each other again, right, sissy? Right, missile? That's right. We we promise, little lady. We'll see you in hell. <laughs> I'll you, Bill. I'll never forget you, no matter what happens. All right, here it goes, then. Good luck, friend. That I mooch off of. All right, missile. Here we go! Oh god! Wait, things might be a bad idea! Oh Jesus! Oh lord. <laughs> Mr. <Mishka Bidano! laughs> These 12 seconds are lasting an eternity. I was trying to think of a way to save Lynn and the little lady the whole time. What about the other guy? The other guy just like fucking just. He was like, ah, whatever. I'm just gonna hang out and hang here with my badass robot claw. But how can a ray of light of hope. Of, of hope reach this. Far down in the deep sea, before I can think of an answer, the 12 seconds are up. And it's time to jump on that freaking thing. Woo! Dude, dude. What? Okay, we seem to be, uh. <laughs> just in the nick of time. So that guy's just hanging out there? Wow. I am one d devoted. <laughs> devoted worker. <laughs> Take him, Jad. I made a big mess, man, do this! I'm gonna. <coughs> I'm gonna burn him! <laughs> Better not. You might break you break your teeth. The man room has lost power and is sinking. That guy does not seem seem to give the slightest fuck. So what this masked man is going to do? It's Dr. Jimmy Jowd! Wake up! Wake up, Jowd! There's a core on the other guy's body. That's weird. So over the way to take it, Jowd. Oh, who are you? Uh, oh, are you Sissel? Please excuse my appearance. I still got my sunglasses! <laughs> Whoever I am, I, I still got badass sunglasses. I can't believe I can't believe you made it here. How how is Camilla? What about Lynn? Well, it is kind of a long story. Blah 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 blah. Submarine sinking. Blah blah. Water going down. Blah blah. We almost died. Blah blah blah. Giant <laughs> giant metal claw. Blah blah. So shook about everything that happened on the submarine, you know. So the submarine is badly damaged. Why would he do that to his own submarine? <laughs> Apparently, he's got a lot of money to burn. I wish I knew. Uh, I know the answer to that one. I'm, is that the? Oh, 
<laughs> I know the answer to that. Hey, I follow along too. It's because he's afraid of my powers. <laughs> you, how the, you followed us? I didn't even notice. <laughs> how the hell did I do that? Seriously, there's only two spots in that tor tor torpedo. Ah, whatever, who cares? <laughs> I'm I'm evil sister, I can do whatever the fuck I want. It's been 10 long years, Jad, to take a jab. I, I, how's it hanging, man? <laughs> now, I know I tried to get you killed tonight, like your whole family, and tried to take out horrible revenge on you, but there's no reason to hold grudge, right? <laughs> Are you your meal? Your, your, your meal? Your, your, your meal. <laughs> your meal! <laughs> I don't know, is that your meal? Your meal or your meal? I'll, I'll just go with your meal. So that's the guy's name. Finally, the true, the true Sissel. So you remember, so you remember me, do you? How could I possibly forget? Wow, it, I can't believe how long it took us to finally say this guy's name. So that's your real name, huh? Your meal? That's right. Those people on the, you know, are calling you Sissel. That's just an alias I was using for my deal with them. Oh, okay, I see. I didn't see any need to tell them my real name. Could you do me a favor? Would you let me ask you some questions? You're trying to find out my true identity all night. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Who the fuck am I? How about that? I'm sure there's plenty we can we can still tell you, right, Detective Jab? Right. Huh. How about about me? Who the fuck am I? He knows too, doesn't he? Ten years ago, you were you were a top systems engineer, weren't you? Systems engineer? What the doodles did? By the way, I'm a top rubbering, you know. <laughs> Well, it's kind of hard to explain to a dog, but it's a person who's good at using computers. I don't mean to brag, but I was one of the best in the industry. <laughs> I was fucking awesome. I was always so badass looking too with my red suit, my white tie, my cool Johnny Bravo hair and sunglasses. I was like, damn, look at all these nerds. I I'm the fucking shit, baby. Boom. <laughs> oh, sir, you're not supposed to bang on the computers. Like, Shut up. I know what I'm doing. I'm fucking yo meal. All right. <laughs> it's right. Ah. And he boots him out the window. I got fired from that job for some reason, but anyway, I digress. That's how I got roped into joining that project. Project what? Project what project? This project aimed at reorganizing the nation's top secret information. The goal was to build a new system using multidimensional programming theory. Hold up, balls. I was asked to join the project by an agent of the government. It does sound like, sound like some of the top programming we know anything about. To me, it just sounded like another talent challenging job. However, this project was also the target of a secret plot. I bet you can imagine the kind of crime the nation's top secrets might attract. I never thought for the life of me I'd ever I'd ever have to deal with spies. It was never made public, but every organization in the country moved moved on this one. And then one day, the name of a certain program emerged as a suspect. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh shit. I was the guy who built the core of the system. The police arrested you, and then that incident happened. He escaped from the interrogation room and took Lynn as a little Lynn as a hostage. By the way, take the jab. When was it that I was proven innocent? About six months six months after your death. I'm so sorry, Emil. <laughs> my B. <laughs> yeah, your B. <laughs> I put my freaking fist in your your B. <laughs> Ten years ago. Well. Ow! <laughs> It'd be funny if he actually yells that, Ronin. <laughs> Ow! My soul was split from my body and I lost everything. I was sealed in eternal darkness. I exist in this world, no question about that. Bunch of weird ass characters, but nobody knows my presence. What good were my powers? They didn't help anybody. Not even the passage of time could heal my pain. The dialogue is auto scrolling, so you guys know. In fact, it only made only made it worse. Hey, look, it's me! Hey, wait, come back! No! I'm a major character too! I want to disappear, but I wasn't even allowed to do that. The way Lynn described it is exactly right. Sinking slowly toward the bottom of an endless sea. I don't understand what he means by people didn't realize or notice him. I mean, couldn't he just repossess his body and just get on with his life again? You know, like, I mean, obviously people noticed him. They noticed him when he's walking around in his body. No void feeling of loneliness and despair. And all I want of you, 
Oh, oh, one, and I want all of you to suffer what I was suffering. I don't know. Can you guys explain? Do you guys understand that better than? Do you guys understand that? Because it seems to me like he could have just hopped back in his body and like now I can live that the way I was before. So now I'm, I got superpowers and I can live forever. <laughs> so that's why you murdered Alma. <laughs> well, yeah, that's right. I wanted you to know what it was like to lose everything you cared about. I wanted you to feel the same pain I felt. What? It was the twisted wish of a mind poisoned by infinite loneliness. And then, as I was plotting my revenge, I had an idea. I came up with a plan to use these powers of mine to make a deal. Whoop. There's something I just don't understand about that deal. I'm sure your powers would be very valuable to them, but what would get you out of the deal? A new life. Life. I asked them for two conditions. Number one was that they would they helped me with my revenge plot. And the second was a rebirth for me. Oh. Rebirth, a new beginning, eh? I didn't care if it was a fake life, an artificial life. I just wanted a physical receptacle for my soul, a name, an identity, an everyday life. I want to grow old in a society that would accept me. I don't understand why you couldn't have just done that as you are now. Like, would the police would come after you again? Dude, just use your super human strength to jump to Mexico or something. I don't know. Finally, I want to die surrounded by a loving family. That's the kind of life I asked them for. No, I guess he couldn't have that because he was. He couldn't live forever. I, I don't know. A completely man made life. That's right. I knew I couldn't hope for anything more than that. To make it all come true, I knew it would take a lot of money and a lot of power. That's why I decided to ask the national government to help me. Because they can do whatever the hell they want, right? <laughs> and the response in the end was betrayed. They were making their moves so much more carefully than I suspected. He sent spies to the country and researched my powers on their own. And they even figured out what Temzik was all about. And you had no idea what they were doing all this? None at all. Man, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so then, why did you go to all the trouble of making a deal with you? Why didn't they just steal the hunk of Temzik meteorite from the park? And they could. Huh? Yeah, that's a good point, actually. <laughs> just dig it up. After the manipulator incidents, research was conducted in this country, too. A report was submitted to the government about the source of the manipulation's power. Yeah, baby, thanks to me and Pigeon Man over here. Shut up. <laughs> my Spectre Cat, my Spectre Cat, my Spectre Cat known the old Pigeon Guy. At first, the government didn't believe the report. But then they decided to put the park under surveillance just in case. Surveillance, huh? Just looks like an ordinary peaceful park with their armed agents there at all times. Uh oh. <laughs> like me! <laughs> I'm a badass motherfucker. Don't tell me that odd leafless guy is one of them. <laughs> no, not him. He's just some plain old plain old odd person. Hey, who are you calling odd person? <laughs> I've got super ninja skills. Especially when the... <laughs> what, what was it? The, the something of youth <laughs> comes into me. I get superhuman strength. <laughs> la 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 la! <laughs> that park is like a silent battlefield on an international scale. So seriously, they were like dudes just hanging out out there. Weren't they? Wouldn't they have freaked out then when we were like over there in the crater, like talking to each other earlier with Lynn getting after the dog or something? I'm surprised the freaking SWAT team didn't come out and go, get Lynn on the ground! Holy shit! Hell, weren't they looking for Lynn earlier? To, wouldn't they have like been like, oh, hey, look, there's this wanted criminal here at the park. Sweet. So that's why they couldn't steal the Thames me me uh, meteorite. And lately, under the under the pretense of building a housing site, they've been working on a plan to destroy the, that park in order to secure the Tempting meteorite, meteorite. So that's it, eh? So the upshot of your grand deal was this, eh? Yeah, it's the end I deserve. At least there's one thing you must be happy about. What is that? You managed to seal me away at the bottom of the sea forever. Well, yeah. I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm so evil. Well, <laughs> should we get started? Die with what? Bring take the jab back to life, of course. Well, what good it will that do now? How the hell? Oh yeah, he's. Oh, is he dead? I didn't even realize. I thought he was unconscious. But we promise. We promise, Lumis, come on, save you. We can't do, and we can't do that without you, Detective Jab. Oh, I got it by fate tonight to this place. I won't give up now. No, no. All right, all right, fine. Let me let's see where it leads us. 
It's only my second death tonight. <laughs> yeah, you're, <laughs> you're, you're three better than Lynn, all right? You're <laughs> Here we go then. Back to four minutes before your death. The dude, what are the, the metal guy, the, uh, the guy with the hat, the metal hat, like kill him or something? I use my badass, my badass metal hit powers. So, where, where are we headed? We aren't headed anywhere, detective. What? There's only enough fuel on board to, to launch us, launch us away, detective. We're not soon, and that will be our desti our destination, detective. What are you talking about? That would mean that you're trapped here too. Oh, is he a machine? He is a machine. By the way, I'm not human, detective. If you, if you didn't figure out with a big metal thing on my head. Though I suppose it makes hit. And I'm blue. I know plenty of blue. I know plenty of blue people in this game. <laughs> I am a remote-controlled robot detective. What? And I can do this with my head. Isn't that cool? Your country's use of technology is just plain off. <laughs> what are you talking about? It was, only, it was absolutely worth getting this fancy chandelier, and the fancy claw thing that... and the table that flips through grapes and stuff, and, and the anal probing thing, and the painting that's also a TV. <laughs> we get that a lot, detective. <laughs> yes, I tell him all this fucking time. Woo! Ha! Cool, huh? Why would you go into all the trouble to do this? That's nothing but a shell there. That's hardly a threat to any threat anymore. Commander just likes to provide provide against any possibility, no matter how small, Detective. Possibility? What are you talking about? There's no need for you to know, Detective. I'm about to kill you, probably. Oh, fucking balls. Now it's time to say goodbye, Detective. At the end, your fate remains the same, it seems, Detective. Oh, fucking hell. Camilla, forgive me. Ah! Ha! I don't give a shit. It isn't over yet. It is it! Or what the big masked man said? Any possibility, no matter how small. Possibility. In other words, there must be a chance here somewhere. The possibility of turning the situation around. We're gonna fucking do this shit, guys. Let's do this! Ghost powers, go! Alright. Huh? huh? What is it, Detective? Look at Yomiya's shell. There's no aura emanating from his body. Of course there is. Tim's Fram is gone. This, could this change in his shell? Give us some kind of leap? Can I reach this? Wait a m oh my god, am I gonna jump backwards to his death or something? Oh, that would be fucking crazy. Go 10 years in the past? I figured it out. I know what this possibility of how small it is that they're afraid of. What is it? My time has perpetually stopped thanks to the power of Tim's. Oh, I see. That's why we couldn't interact with him before. His body stuck between the moments that separa separated his life and death. Right, but not anymore. The Timsic Fragment has been taken away. Exactly, so what does that mean? I get it. Your body won't come back to life anymore. The moment the Timsic Fragment was removed, any sh my shell became a regular corpse. So let's see, that means we can go back, back to four minutes before your death. Yes, I knew it. Oh my god, that's... Oh my god, what? This is going to be crazy. But wait a minute. Exactly what is that death? Well, that's simple. We'll find out. <laughs> when we get there, let's move. Holy shit. We're gonna go to 10 years ago? Whoa. Way the fuck back. Woohoo! Going way back in time. Fell back through the cracks of time for what seemed like a f forever, and then I saw it. The final death at the end of this long night. Who exactly am I? I've seen all the, seen all the clues. All I have to do now is remember. Remember. Final journey to the truth starts now. 